very exciting with Huyi Mao. He was very good the other day, I think, on ground that possibly was a little bit gluey for him. But no, it was a bit of a test of test of stamina for him and delighted that, delighted that he got the job done and couldn't be happy with him. He came to the yard not that long before his run at Goodwood. He was, you know, he'd been there just under a month, I think. And um, so we're kind of still getting to know him, really. But the last sort of couple of weeks, he's really thrived. He turned up in terrific shape. You know, he's been a very straightforward horse to train. And I think the main thing is, you know, we've always had it in the back of the mind that, you know, he's not really a whole horse. We, he, we're sort of looking after him for the meantime. And um, he, he needs to go down there and, and try and stay two miles on his first start there. So it's just been trying to slow him down rather than rather than quicken him up. So you know, he seems very relaxed, yeah, in great shape. Andrew Balding was always of the opinion that, you know, that he wants slower ground. He's obviously a winner the last day on it. I just, you know, I think it was a bit holding ground the last day and, you know, it had been raining for a couple of days and then it was very hot for two days. So I, I think, you know, as long as it's the slow side of good, it'd be absolutely fine. I, I don't think he'd mind soft ground. I just wouldn't want it to be to be drying too much. Uh, David Probert's book to ride. I thought he gave him a great ride in the Derby and, and that was probably one of the main reasons. He's a horse who takes a bit of knowing and he's obviously ridden him down at down at Kingsclear. He's going to ride and I'm um, looking forward to it. Like I'd imagine there'll be a pretty decent pace. It's a classic. They usually go an even gallop at, at, at the least. So, um, no, look, he's, he's a much more relaxed horse now and, and he has missed the break the last couple of starts, you know, in the Derby and then at Goodwood twice. And, you know, I do think he needs riding with a certain degree of restraint. I don't think he needs dropping in. I mean, he'll jump out the stalls this week and just try and have a bit more forward place, I think. It's, it's an open race. I, Ryan Moore was of the opinion that you know, if he'd had his stick for the final two furlongs at Goodwood the time before, that he'd have run the favourite close. So, yeah, look, he's obviously the one to beat, but I'd be pretty happy with how we are.